Hello guys and welcome to this YouTube video. Today I will talk about a Go 4 as a first car. Can I recommend it after 3 years and 50,000 kilometers? This and more in this YouTube video. So first of all I want to say everything I say in this video is my opinion. So if you see something different just let me know down in the comments. So here we have a Go 4. First registration was the 1st of October 1999. We have the 1.4 petrol engine in this car with 75 horsepower and 126 newton meters. So it is the smallest petrol engine you can get in a Golf 4. I have to say I'm really into cars. I really love the speed, I really like much horsepower, but I have to say as a first car you don't really need much more than 75 horsepower. You have first of all to learn how a car drives, how it reacts in winter and summer and you don't need 150 horsepower or 200 horsepower in my opinion. So as a first car this engine is enough. Of course there's a 1.6 liter petrol engine as well with 105 horsepower. This is also very good and every other engine in this car is very good but this is the cheapest one and I think that's enough. So this engine does not have a turbo or a supercharger, it's naturally aspirated. If you just cruise uh, urban streets you can always drive between 1500 and 3000 rpms and you can just roll, it's super easy. But if you want to drive faster you have go in higher rpms. So you go to 5500 rpms and then you should shift because everything about 5500 rpms is does not really make sense in my opinion so i have the five speed manual gearbox in this car there's an automatic gearbox as well but i heard these are not very good so i recommend the five speed manual so the five speed is okay for just normal urban city cruising or just to drive normally around but if you go faster for example on the German Autobahn it would be much better if there would be six gears so um, if you drive 130 140 or faster you are always around 4000 to 500 rpm and yeah this is just not very comfortable. So I would say it's not a long distance car. It's just, it's perfect for just normally driving around, but making 500 kilometers is, is okay. You can drive 500 kilometers with no problem, but it's just not too comfortable. The fuel consumption of this car is between 6.5 to 8.5 liters per 100 kilometer. So if you drive chilly, just cruising around, you can drive this car with 6.5 liter. But as I already said, if you go a little bit faster, for example on the German Autobahn, you need between 7.5 and 8.5 liters fuel per 100 kilometer. So this car does not really have many extras. I have an air condition, which I think is very important because now we have, for example, 25 degrees Celsius. And I don't think you want to drive 200 kilometers in a car which has no air condition in it and it's just much more comfortable with. This car does also have an Volkswagen Alpha radio, which is really good. It has just speakers in the front, but it sounds really good. It's just fun, just cruising around and listen to music. So I still have the original Alpha Volkswagen radio in it. So there is no chance to connect your smartphone via Bluetooth or AUX. So I just bought a Bluetooth transmitter. So you can connect your smartphone with this transmitter and this puts out a radio signal which you can receive with your normal radio. So it's possible to hear your music via Bluetooth in this car. So for example, I don't have electric windows in it. You have to know what you want. If you want to spend more money, for example, this car has around 100,000 kilometers and you get something like this for around 3,000 euros. If you want to spend more like 5, 7, 10,000 euros, of course you can get electric windows and a 
modern car like leather seats of course, everything additional equipment but i think three thousand euros for the first car is absolutely okay for example i bought this three years ago with 68,000 kilometers and just one previous owner so i'm the second owner and now it has around 150,000 kilometers so i drove drive around 15,000 kilometers per year a little bit more but I really enjoy this car and I love it very much. So for a car in a size like this, it's still very silent in the interior while you drive. Compared to a 2019 car, for example, this is pretty much the same noise in the interior while you drive as the 2019 car. So mostly everything in the interior is pretty well made. Just a few plastic parts are soft touch. So these were the beginnings of Volkswagen with soft touch and they didn't know how this would react after, for example, 20 years. So this looks not even so nice, but for me it's okay and if you want to, you can change it. So after 20 years, rust is really a problem. You can already see it here on the front fenders. So I really have to change these because if I don't do this, I'm not allowed to drive anymore. But replacement parts for this car are not really expensive. So, for example, I think one new one is around 200 euros and this is completely okay for this. So, if you want to buy a car like this, you should really check if there is rust. For example, here on the front fenders or on the tailgate in the rear is also very often something. But really important to say is you can repair by yourself. So I, if you are a little bit into technical things, you can do it by your own. So as I already said, I bought this car three years ago and drove with it 50,000 kilometers. I was in Denmark, Italy, France, everywhere around Europe. And I think there is no need to change my car because I love it very, very much. And yeah, when you drive fast on, for example, the German Autobahn, if you go 140, 150, 160 kilometers, the engine consumes a little bit of oil, but it's really okay. So if you drive, for example, long distance, for example, 5,000 kilometers, you have to refill a half a liter oil. And I think that's really okay. If you drive just in the city, so no, no long distance on the Autobahn, for example, you don't have to refill oil. So that's just a long distance problem. Because if you drive faster, the engine makes around already always around 5,000, 4,000 RPM. And then, yeah, it just consumes a little bit of oil. So the size of the trunk in this car is really good. You can probably everything put in you want. Um, this has five seats. So the front seats are just normal. The back seats, you don't have too much space as you can see. And the middle rear seat is just, yeah, it's just not for normal driving. If you just have to take a person for yeah, up to one hour, it's okay. But everything longer than one hour in the middle rear seat is just not comfortable. So the acceleration in this car with 75 horsepower is, yeah, it's okay. For 75 horsepower, it's really okay. The top speed is around 170 kilometers per hour. If it goes a little bit down and you have wind in your direction, there are 180 and 190 kilometers per hour possible, but your engine is then around 6,000 RPM and I don't think you want to damage your engine. So now you will see how this car accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and from 100 to 150 kilometers per hour.
So I have to say I really can recommend a Golf 4 as a first car. You, it's for people who don't want to spend too much money and like the look of a Golf 4. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, just give it a like. If you have any questions, just write down in the comments. I will to try answer everything. See you guys.